السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شالی صدری ویسر علی عمری وال القدت ہم السانی افقولی رب زدی علما ہاؤ از ایوری ون چلڈرن ہوپ دیٹ یو آر ویل یو آر انجوائنگ یور لرننگ یو آر انجوائنگ یور اسٹڈیز ٹوڈے وی آر ون ٹو اسٹڈی چیپٹر نمبر فائیو دا انٹرنیٹ اینڈ ایٹس یوزرز دا ٹاپک از یونیفارم ریسورس لوکیٹرز یو آر ایلس and HTTP and HTTPS, the difference between the two. Let's start. But before we proceed to this topic, let's learn a few important terminologies. The first one is a browser or a web browser. What is it actually? It's software. And what it does, it's, allow, it's, it's allowing the users to access and display the web pages on their screens. Like for example, can you quote a few examples of browsers? Okay, that's wonderful. Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, great. Yes, that's wonderful. So these all are examples of web browsers because they are there to open, to access and display the web pages. What are browsers interpreting? They are able to interpret hypertext markup language or HTML. And this HTML is sent from the, from the websites and it is able to produce the results on the user's device, on this user's screen. Uniform resource locator or URL, what is it? It's basically a text address that we write, that we type in order to access a website. Now, another important term that we need to know is HTTP. What is it? And how is it different from HTTPS? First thing is, HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And it's a set of rules or protocol that is needed or that should be obeyed whenever files are transferred across the internet. Then there must be some rules and regulations that need to be followed and these rules and regulations are called protocols. When some sort of form of security is required, like you want your website to be secure, then we are going to change our website protocol from HTTP to HTTPS. And this is shown through a green padlock, which you may have observed on your web browsers in the location when you type your addresses. So you must have encountered, you must have seen HTTPS written, and this is indicating your website is a secure one. And the secure website is also following SSL or TLS, secure sockets layer and transport layer security, which you will inshallah study very soon. And that will be making your concept much clearer. Whenever you include S, it means that your web website is secure or it's secured. And it indicates that a more secure way of sending and receiving your messages, your data is happening on the internet. Now, what is a URL? What is it based on? This is what we have talked about, that URL is a website address. In simple words, what is it based on? Whenever you type a URL, then you must have seen that this is what we normally see or what we normally follow. The first one is protocol as we have just talked about HTTPS. Then the next thing after a colon sign and two slashes is your website address. After the website address is the path through which the uh, file is searched, the location is accessed. And lastly, we have the file name. As you can see, www.hardereducation.co.uk is your website address. Its path is actually the default uh, location, the drive and its file name is ICT. Now let's learn each of these separately. The first thing is protocol, like we have talked about HTTP or HTTPS. Second thing is the website address, and this website address is broken down into the first thing domain host, which is www of World Wide Web. And you have already studied it uh, in an earlier uh, topic, 5.1, that's wonderful, Ali that we have already talked about www and internet in the earlier uh, discussion. Second thing is the domain name or the website name. 
Then we have the domain type, like is this website a commercial site? So it will have .com. If it's an organization, it will be .org. If it's a, a network, it will be .net, similarly .gov, similarly .edu. So this is denoting the domain type. Which category does it belong to? And then lastly, in this website address is the country code, which is sometimes present to indicate the country where the website is. For example, .uk, .pk. Similarly, we do encounter some other country codes also as a part of the website address. Any questions? Are we clear? Then we have the path. As we know, path means the whole path that we follow to reach a certain location, the whole address that we, we follow to reach a certain location. So similarly here, path is the web page, but in some situations it is omitted because it has become, and then it becomes the root directory of the web, website, the main, web, the main location of the website. It's sometimes omitted, otherwise it is definitely going to be there. Lastly is the file name. And this is the last thing that is present on your uh, website URL. Like in this example, as you can see, www.horroreducation.co.uk slash ICT. And this is indicating the file name. Any questions, any ambiguity, anything that is unclear? Okay, as far as question is concerned, we do get such questions that are dealing with uniform resource locators. So we need to be very much careful about it to answer the questions inshallah we are going to meet again with a new video with a new discussion for being a part of the learning journey if you have liked my video please subscribe the channel share with your friends and family so that all so they all are go going to benefit from the free videos and please join the community so that you are getting the latest updates as soon as any new, new videos are uploaded on the youtube channel Jazakallah khair and kasira once again. Allah Hafiz.